Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Paint the Edge Up, where I teach you to make a cool uh, painting in about an hour, and I get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel, and today we are painting this right here. I call it the teal landscape. It's a terrible photo, because I don't know how to use my photo. Um, my Or my camera, my phone. I don't even know how to say phone. Uh, but that's what we're painting today, so that's what we're going to teach you to make. Hey, what's up, Berserker? Um... What else was I going to say? Um, before I get to uh, the painting and tell you everything you need, uh, first, uh, like, share, follow, subscribe. I got links up here. Basically, if you just search Paint the Edge Off, you'll find me. Uh, but that stuff always helps. I appreciate it. And I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting like I do with all my classes. All you got to do is uh, correctly answer my subjective trivia first in the comments, and uh, I will give you a free painting of your choice, okay? And uh, I think that's it. Okay. What you're going to need for this today is you need a canvas, okay? Canvas is important, all right? Something to paint on. You can paint on, you know, anything really old, um, you know, high school diploma, um, your social security card. Um, but I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas, okay? I've got an easel. If you don't have an easel, you can just lay it flat uh, or just hold it the whole time while you paint it, okay? I've also got paper towels. I've got water, okay? You need some kind of water cup. This is acrylic paint, so you'll need some kind of water to mix with it. I've got whiskey. I've got a blow dryer. I've got a blow dryer, I promise. Uh-oh. This isn't wet. Uh-oh, hold on. I've got a blow dryer, though. Trust me. You can trust me. blow dryer okay I've also got uh, I said whiskey I've got paper plates for my palette okay you can use whatever you want for a palette but I use paper plates oh uh, let's see this isn't where I parked my car Alex says this isn't where I parked my car um it's around here somewhere Alex I've got um, a couple things a couple other tools here okay I've got a couple pieces of chalk all right that's just sidewalk chalk blue and orange I've got a pencil and I've got a, a needed eraser because I need to erase anything and then I've got my brushes, okay? I've got my, my big flat brush. I've got my my medium flat brush here, okay? I've got my medium round brush. All right, and I got my little baby round brush, okay? Baby brush, put those, take those, put them bristle down your water cup. Anytime you're not using them, throw them in there. Paint colors, black, white, purple, red, blue, yellow. There we go. We did it. That's everything you need. Okay. Hey, cheers. Paint the edge off. Ah. Okay, let's get the old shot counter fired up. Fired up. Just starting. Yeah, I uh, got late today. Okay, what was I doing? Okay. All right, um, okay, yeah, let's get painting. Yeah, I am a little late today. Uh, I'll tell you about it later. Okay, let's find the middle of our canvas. Let's go halfway up our canvas going. There's about halfway. All right, let's go a little, just a little above that. Make a little mark there, okay? Let's do that on both sides. Something like that, right? Okay, let's draw some mountains in, okay? We are at one shot. So yes, I just started, okay? All right, so uh, let's go ahead and just... Go ahead and just kind of bring those down the middle. Extend those lines over, bring them down to the middle. Okay, now we've got um, whatever you want it to be. Whatever you think it is, okay? All right, let's have another mountain here. This is gonna, let's make another little line right here, just a little above where that one was. Let's do the same thing here. And let's make some little mountain tops, okay? Let's go, whoa, mountain, oh, whoa. Mountain, boom. Another mountain range, bam. Look at that, mountains. Okay, and we're done drawing. Let's maybe take another shot. Uh, yeah, so I taught a painting class, a real live painting class, Monday. But it was up in Java. I had to take all my stuff up there and I had to drive all the way back all in one day. And then yesterday I worked. So I haven't had time. I had to reset everything up today. I'm late. Yeah, really. 
yeah i uh it was pretty cool actually like i you know before the pandemic i was doing live painting classes and then the pandemic happened and so i felt bad that i couldn't teach it so i just recorded myself painting one and that's how paint the edge off started and then i just kept doing it during the pandemic and it was fun but yeah i taught a big one i had never taught one that big it was or since i back since i worked for places that did that but when i was doing it on my own the biggest class I had was like 13 people this was like 24 people so that was cool all right let's take a new paint plate and let's you know these things like fudged up Ugh. white paint let's get yellow and red okay yellow and my red okay holy shit okay there's a lot of power in that one let's get some more white you know never have too much white paint all right take your big brush out of your water cup okay tap it off all right tap it off okay let's start with our lot yellow okay let's just start by stirring our water with our white paint all right once we get that mixed in we'll just add just a little bit of yellow to it okay white paint you know it wants to mingle and yellow paint little just a little put yellow paint is going to oblige a little bit you know but just going to stick its toe in a little bit and there we go we have light yellow maybe a little bit more yellow maybe a little yellow here it's really up to you but um i'm gonna make this pretty light actually what, what am i doing okay all right i've mixed up way more than i need let's go okay so i'm just gonna start painting across let's just start up here right above the mountains there let's just go left and right okay now let's go ahead and take this and go around our mountains a little bit it's all right if it's if it goes over okay in fact it's better to go over the line than not go all the way to it okay so it's fine everything's fine look we got yellow pretty amazing dude we're so friggin amazing let's wash our brush a little bit okay let's get a little wash what y'all been doing how's uh how's your how's the stocks there mikey all right wash my brush out take it back to my red paints or sorry my white paint stir my water in there with my white paint mix it all up maybe a little bit of yellow water that's okay let's take just a little again red's just gonna barely oblige white's like come on come on over here and red's like i mean maybe i'll just say like, stand by you we're not going all the way that's what red paint's saying right now okay we got light light pink color now Ooh, i can make it a little more red let's add a little bit more red into this jazz red's like you know what actually he's you're all right you're cool maybe i'll hang out a little bit more there we go a little bit more reddish pink there oh yeah that's that's the stuff that's the ticket <laughs> am i right tickets <laughs> you know that's the ticket because everybody wants a ticket take it to the gun show more like the fun show <laughs> i'm gonna wash my brush a little bit just give it a little wash or just take it and wipe it off wipe it off on you know anything you have dry towel you know your child's face um whatever you want really i'm gonna take a little bit of white right there and let's just go ahead just to just to fill in the gap let's take this up into my pink take my pink down into my yeller my yeller back up into my pink okay and see now look it's blending do you see that wow god we're so fucking good at painting there we go now we got a nice blend okay nice blend hey nice blend bro thanks bro boom 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 look at us paint we are painting okay there we go that's the first part we paint the sky in good job and one more shot okay just one more i'm gonna be done after that so yeah i did um teach a live painting class it was pretty fun and uh i don't know why but i did not anticipate as many children that us were there um yeah didn't think about that 
couldn't do all my material because I was like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of friggin' eight-year-olds here. But it was fun. I had a blast. And I made like 20 bucks, you know, so it was sweet. Which one more can you ask for, you know? All right, let's paint in some um, some orange mountains, okay? You can wash your brush out. It really is okay if you don't really need to wash your brush out that much. Let's make up some orange. Let's take some yellow and some red. Okay, and that's way more red than yellow. So let's just take yellow here. There we go. Let's just let's just take what little bit of red we have on our brush and a big scoop of yellow and mix in with my light yellow. Let's use this up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, orange. Big brush, you're doing a great job at mixing these colors up. Thank you. This is hell, you're working me so hard. Shut up, big brush. Big brush, I really appreciate it. Okay, let's start with this one. This one's more in the background, so we're kind of working away from the background to the foreground. Next layer, we got the sky, now we got this little mountain here. Now I'm just gonna cover up that line there. Nice thick paint there, boom. Kaboom. Okay, let's take some white. A little white. Let's put a little white right there. Oh, what? Yeah, pretty crazy. Let's take this. Let's blend it in. I'm just gonna go kind of left and right. Work my way across that line. Boom. Boom. Lighter mountains at the bottom. I might take even more yellow white. What do? What do you? Who says I can't? I think I can. Look at that. Beautiful. The Mountains of Radness? Is that what I should call it? I don't know why I'm washing my brush out, really. Um, let's get back to this orange paint on our plate. Let's get back to our orange paint. Now I wash my brush out, I gotta stir my water back in. Oh, Joel, don't forget to stir your water in. Thanks, other Joel. All right, this is a little darker. Okay, this mountain's a little darker. Uh, this mountain's got a dark sense of humor. I think people say that too much. So I'm gonna say it too much. That's my logic there. Okay, fill that sucker in. Again, take some white. Let's put a little white right there. Give yourself a decent amount. Alright, then I may even wipe my brush off a little bit. Maybe wipe it off on my little plate here, or my towel, or myself. Okay, and then I'm gonna go left and right. I'm just gonna start blending her in. Blend it up. I'm just lightly brushing, barely touching my canvas, just letting it drag ever so lightly. Just letting it sweep across with little to no worries in the world. My brush is pretty carefree. He's big, big, big flat brush is pretty carefree. Just can't tell him how it feels. He's like, I know the meaning of a hard day's work. I'm grounded. I'm grounded in reality. And then, you know, little medium flat, medium round brush is like, fuck the world, you know? Medium round brush is like, I'm medium round brush. I'm the sassy one. Um, what's wrong with me? Okay, let's paint edges. Let's paint edges off. My dad was in the painting class that I taught Monday. Uh, well, he was there, so he painted too, and uh, he's like the corniest guy of all time. He's hilarious. I love him, but, you know, of course he had to be the one to yell. When I paint the edge, my edges of my paintings goes, hey, we're painting the edge off. Classic David Ward. And that's classic David Ward right there. <laughs> I might as well just paint all my edges orange while I'm at it. Well, what's been up with everybody else? Um, are you... What's been going on? Are we all watching the soccer games? I haven't been. 
I try to watch soccer, but it just feels like nothing's happening. I'm just bouncing around and like one person I was talking to is like, well, you have to have played soccer. And it's like, I played soccer? I know how to play soccer. I don't know all the rules. It's, you know, I don't know every single rule, but like, I understand how the game's played. It's just not fun to watch for me. I mean, it's cool. They're kicking the ball back and forth. It's going down there. Then it comes back down here. It's kind of like, I only can play with hockey as much as I love hockey. It's only like a couple, couple scores a game, you know? Hey, Aaron, what's up? Oh yeah, I forgot. My dad, my dad, David Ward is best friends with my friend, Alex. Okay, you know, um, I'm gonna blow dry for a minute. Let's do our trivia question. And let's take a shot. Okay, um, today's trivia question is, what is the name of Stephen A. Smith's new sports debate show? Okay, is it A, point of contention, B, pardon my hot takes, C, sorry for the conflict, D, first take two with a vengeance, E, excuse me for my dissonance, or my disin, 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 dissension, sorry. E, excuse me for my dissension. F, easy take oven. Okay, G, get your hot takes off me. Or H, all of the above. I forgot what half of those were when I started reading them. Um, and do we have enough? Okay, let's take another shot. All right, give it a guess. Okay, there's a new show, new sports show coming up. Coming out with Stephen A. Smith and... It's one of these titles, okay? Give it a guess. Again, what's the name of Stephen A. Smith's new sports debate show? All right, cheers. Ah. Um, wait a minute. I've taken more than three shots, right? Whatever. Whatever. Hey, it's pretty dry. Cool. All right. Um, let's take the trivia question down. I'm trying to think what's happened to me lately. Nothing much, really. Um, but we'll get to that later. Um, let's take some purple and some white. Well, that was way too much purple. Classic Joel. Classic Joel. Okay, let's take this and... Oh, excuse me. Now, I still got some red on my other plate. We're going to mix purple, red, and white. Okay, so let's go ahead and start again. I'd like to start by mixing my water and my ho with my white. With my white. And then I'm going to take... Make kind of a light reddish purple section, okay? That's what I'm going to do, okay? Let's take a little purple in here. Ooh, a little purple. And let's take a little red. I'm gonna take my pink because red's so crazy sometimes. Red gets crazy sometimes. You're like, oh, red, no, it was just a joke. I wasn't even serious. And they're like, fuck you, you know? And they just are so angry instantly. And it's like red, it wasn't even like, we were just joking around. We were making jokes about everybody. You just, it's not a big deal. Red and red's like, Fuck you guys. I know you're all talking about me behind my back. That's what red paint's like. Purple's like, I can see where you're coming from, but but it, it was pretty innocent. No one was making fun of you. Okay, there's that. So, okay, I got my... Maybe I'll make it a little darker. Maybe a little more purple. Maybe a little bit more red. Wow, 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 wow. Kaboom! Reddish purple. There you go. A little darker. Okay, and let's just let's just fill it in. Okay. All right. Let's just let our paint glide across our canvas, like you know, Disney on ice. Okay. Your paint right now is goofy, and it's slide. It's it's gliding across the across your canvas. Okay. Your canvas is the ice rink. Your paint is goofy on ice skates. Okay. Uh, I have tape stuck to my foot. Okay. Um, so, how's everybody else doing? What's been going on? I don't know what's going on in the world anymore. 
the main things I've been seeing is Kanye West losing his mind and sports, I guess. I don't know. I got nothing. All right, let's go ahead and just draw this back in, right? It could be worse. It could be. It hurts. It could be worse. It could be. It could be. Okay, now, um, there we go. We painted it in purple. Congratulations to us. <clears throat> Pretty amazing. So, uh, Monday was my little sister's birthday. And, um, it's all, it was also National Ninja Day. So that's cool. Okay, there we go. Look, we, we did the first layer. Look at us. Um... The football world cup is popping off at the moment. Who's winning? What's happening? All right, I'm gonna blow dry again. I'll put the trivia question up again in case anybody wants to win a free painting. Again, today's trivia question is What is the name of Stephen A. Smith's new debate sports debate show? Is it A, point of contention? B, pardon my hot takes? C, sorry for the conflict? D, first take two with a vengeance? E, excuse me for my dis dissension? F, easy take oven? G, get your hot takes off of me? Or H, all of the above? The football World Cup is popping off at the moment, not soccer. Oh, you're right, sorry. Football. I would call it football if we already had a sport named football. If it was like, that's like if they're like, hey, you know, basketball is actually called, is called, you know, cricket. And then you're, and then England or whatever is like, well, we're going to call it, you know, flocks, flo flocker. <sighs> you know, and you're like, hey, it's cricket, not flocker. I'm like, well, we have a sport called cricket. You know, let's take a shot for how stupid I am, okay? Let's all, let's all watch me take a shot and get even stupider. Okay, now after this stage, we paint something else somehow. I don't remember. Okay, so I think next I'll put the white in, the mountains, I'll put the sun in. Put the river in and some of the trees. I think I might play around with some of the stuff up here in this middle section. Middle section's a little boring, if you ask me, you know? Let's church it up this time. Um, uh, cheers, happy birthday. Ooh, I watched the movie Nope the other night, and it was sweet. Has anyone seen Nope? I want to talk about it. Very cool movie. I loved it. I loved it. All right, our paint's getting pretty dry. There's still a little wet spots here and there. Probably fine, though. Frick it. Okay, you got Berserkers going with D, first take two with the Vengeance. Okay, good guess. Berserker, you're getting good at this, <laughs> okay? All right, let's take our chalk, let's draw some shiz in, okay? Let's do this, let's continue this top line. Look, look there's our mountain, wow. Look, there's our mountain. It's not a butt crack or boobs or anything, it's a mountain, okay? Get your mind out of the gutter. Now let's just draw a little swoosh a little s there wham right now we've got a river pretty cool huh <laughs> i think so um i mean i think it's pretty cool all right that's all the drawing we're doing did i count i did not count my shot um um you've never heard of stephen a smith he's uh he's just a funny he's just a crazy character he's on all the sports talk shows around here uh, but it is funny because like all sports talk shows have their names are all like pardon the interruption Excuse me for the you know You know undisputed first take Excuse me for my Dissension, you know Okay, um, what are we doing? Okay, so I'm gonna paint more things I guess I guess That's how it works 
All right, let's start with the old river. Let's take our medium flat brush. Medium flat brush, old reliable. Let's get white paint on our plate. Oh, medium flat brush. You know, medium flat brush is just, he's your, they're, or she, he, she, whoever. They're just your, your best worker. They're like, look, I come in, I do my job. I don't say shit. I don't fuck, uh, you know, everything's great with me. I'm just gonna come in and do all your hard work for you. Thanks, flat brush. You're welcome. Appreciate it, flat brush. No problem. All right, let's start by tracing this line just right here. Just right here. It's very thin. I'm turning my brush on that skinny side, holding it straight to it. I'm holding it just like that, dragging with that straight edge. Twist my hand, keep my brush perpendicular to the canvas. There we go. Now let's go ahead and widen it up as it gets closer to us. So we're going to retrace this. I'm going to leave it alone up there, but you know, somewhere around this little bend here. Let's bring that out. And I'm just looking up the right side. I guess I am. I guess I am. I am. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. It was weird. Strange. And then my canvas fell and I messed it up. You know what? Frick you, canvas. You can't fudge me up. And my canvas is like, oh, I definitely can. I've done it many times. I'm like, fudge you, canvas. Fudge you, canvas. Kaboom! <laughs> Look, we made a little river. Um, do I have any plans for Christmas? You know, um... Pog brush. Is that play the game brush? Whew, hell yeah, it is. Um, okay, so now our butt crack has a little stream of something white going down it. This is gonna get dirty really fast. Let's just stop it, Joel. Alright, let's stop. It's not a big deal. Maybe we'll take another shot. You know, <laughs> just liven things up. I don't really have any plans for Christmas on it. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna go to my parents and still have to get presents. What about you? You got any plans there, Mr. Berserker? Do, do you guys believe? Do you guys celebrate Christmas? He lives in Wales, so he's gonna be like, "We do, but we celebrate it in May." Just one of those things about Wales, you know. Oh. Fever blister for me, even though I haven't gotten sick, but. Or I just get them for my cat because I'm highly allergic. God, can we talk about my cat for a minute? Okay, hold on. God. Philip has just been a fucking nightmare. I don't know what's, what his deal is. I don't know. I'm starting to think it's just he's finally acting like a cat. He always had this big bulbous eye that was popping out of his head, right? That's my cat, Philip, right? He's. He's pretty young too. I think he's like probably three years old. I don't know. We got him. He was forest. He was a woods cat who was like starving. Why do I have to get the cat's presents? They're not gonna know, right? Or do they? Let's take some white paint and let's go ahead and go. Let's put a little. Let's just take some little lines like this. You can use your tiny, your little baby brush if you want for this. It might be better. I just like small flat. Small flat's just a good, reliable little brush for me. Let's go ahead and just make some, you know, other lines. Like there's other mountain tops maybe somewhere in there, right? Um, get Philip an eye patch. You know, that's a great what I want oh shit, you know? I kinda forgot my whole thing. I was gonna get him a googly eye and put googly eyes on him. Uh, I mean it'd be fucking hilarious. When he's sitting there looking at me like, go ahead, go ahead and make my day, motherfucker. And he's got a googly eye. <laughs> he's a little cocky cat ass. Okay, got the white in there, put some white in our mountains. Uh, maybe let's take a shot. Well, um, you know, sure have, you know, sure has been heck of a day. Is there something in there? Is that bubbles? Yeah, well, so anyway, yeah. Philip, uh. Philip, um, got his eye removed. He got neutered. He was spraying on everything before he got him neutered. 
and he was always pretty sweet and docile and he still is sweet and everything um oh that's a good question berserker but anyway so in the last okay i'm just kind of biding my time because i don't remember what i did next okay let's get blue and yellow let's get a little groin blue yellow and my what all right let's mix ourselves up a nice very yellowy green just take a little tell you know yellows say into blue hey come on let's just just come over we'll just netflix and chill you know and blue's like come on to you okay yellow i know what you're trying to do yellow's like what are you talking about i'm just being a perfectly natural gentleman now let's get some white and blue just barely sticks his toe in you know he just kind of obliges him just like well i'll give you you know i'll give you my snapchat but you know, you're nothing a fish yet we're not a fish yet um and they're like a fish i'm not a fish you're a fish i'm like a fucking mammal um so anyway philip's just been running around terrorizing the house you know it's been a fucking monster lately I want to offer a promotion for your channel. Get the fuck out of here. Like, get the hell out of here. <coughs> you guys should know I spent no money on this. Okay. Anyway, my cat's fucking driving me crazy. Like, she's been a little demon lately. I don't know what the fuck the deal is. Like, it's, it's just, I think he's, I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's just like, feels more like himself, but he, I think he's getting spoilt because we've been leaving him inside more so leaving him in the garage where it's like where he normally lived when he was spraying everywhere and everything so we brought him in from there now he's in the house maybe he's just getting a little spoiled but anyway he's just been like knocking shit over he's always just like running around and like opening knocking things over and opening like just pounding i don't even know what he's doing in there i just hear noises and i'm like what are you doing all right let's take some green let's just kind of sprinkle some green in here i'm not even really gonna try that hard at this okay That's one thing i'm not gonna do is try hard one thing definitely not doing but let's just sprinkle some in let's have some coming up from the side too that's a little okay whatever we're gonna layer this up okay now i'm just trying green because i don't like my original painting is too, too boring for me it's a little too basic my original pa painting is a basic white bitch i'm trying to make it more of a you know cool cool bitch you know okay there's green look we did it look at us um i don't know what else to do maybe i put i won't do the red and the blues in there but I'm trying to think of something else to do i've been to florida and miami says berserker uh but i do want to come back at some point and visit a lot of different places in the u.s yeah you know and if i haven't visited i haven't visited a lot honestly like i'm not not the guy to talk to, unfortunately, about places I don't travel. I just work all day long. Uh, but to answer your question, you said, you ever visited the UK or want to? If so, where? Uh, yeah, I've always wanted to visit Europe and get over across the pond. I've also like I also like to go to Canada and Mexico. I've never been there. I've never been outside this country. You know, I've been all over this country. Or not all over. No, not even all over. I've been to like just left of halfway across the country over and i haven't even been to the northeast really so pretty much just all the middle parts on the south and the right side let's try our green paint a little bit and let's take a shot i don't think i've counted like very many of my shots Um, bro, you need to travel outside the U.S. You're not getting any younger. You're very right. Um, you know what else is getting any younger? My wallet, you know? It's like... Actually, it's getting better now, but... You know, why haven't I traveled? Well, uh, money. Why does everybody else travel? Because they're them and their parents. Everyone just has money. I don't have money. That's why I don't travel. You know what, I'm gonna go with my medium round brush for this today. Let's go medium round brush. Let's do it. 
All right, let's go to some red. Let's mix some red in with our with our pink here. Just get like a little bit, not just a little bit of white, basically. Just bit, barely lightening this up. Not straight red. We're gonna go just a tiny bit of white mixing with it. Dude, I would love to travel. Okay, you know what's so fucking frustrating is just like you that you said that. No, um, but like you know, everyone's always saying that, and it's like, yeah, I would fucking love to travel. Like, but you know what? Guess what? I don't have much money. My family doesn't have much money. We don't have, you know, travel across the world money. Which I know isn't that much to a lot of people, but... Seriously, like... I don't have fucking money to go travel all the time. Like, I don't... I don't. Barely have money to, like, you know, I have money to keep myself afloat. How are you supposed to have money for stuff? Like, who just is giving out this money? Everyone I've talked to, it's basically, it's, it's their parents. Well, guess what? My parents aren't just handing me bags of money, okay? Oh, what's up, Alex? Bro. Wait, no, I thought that was... Oh, sorry, I read your name wrong. Dude, it is expensive. So expensive. Remember, like, you know, a couple years ago, I was like, you know what, I got my shit together, I got some money, like... Why don't I go... Travel, you know, a plane ticket can't be that much. I look it up, it's like, it's a thousand dollars round trip to get over to Europe and back. Like, cool, a thousand dollars. Is that just nothing to people? Like, I don't. Sorry, I'm, I'm too, too fucking broke. Like, I don't get to see the world. I guess you know. <laughs> Everyone else gets to, but me. No, but seriously, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I could. I put my money into different things, and traveling the world is one of those things I. I do know that it would be a very amazing experience. I just, I can just never justify the money. It's the same with like tattoos, right? Not the exact same, but um, everyone gets all these tattoos, right? Like you only, have, I, I have one tattoo that I got when I was 18, right? Kind of a, almost just like as like a fuck you to my, my like my parents even give a shit. My parents are cool about it, but I only got like one um tattoo, and I'm always like. I can never justify the money for a tattoo. I was always like, you know, eh, I could do that or I could like pay my car payment, you know, or something, you know. Um, thank you, Dominic. Um, yeah, yeah, it costs you so much money. I mean, that's the thing. So it's like my other thing too in my twenties, especially, was like. It's not even like the money necessarily, it's the money that I'm losing from not working. I mean, I'm so indebted to this fucking, my work and money and this fucking society that like, if I take a week off, like, I'm pretty fucked for like six months, you know, like, it's fucked up. But now it's better, but like, back, you know, I don't know anyone in their 20s does shit. This is just like being good with money, and you know... Here's another thing about money, right? When I was 20, okay. I got my soapbox here, okay? Do you not get paid hol paid holidays? Um, no. Don't get paid holidays. I mean, basically, no, I know what you mean, but most people don't. Now, if you have a high-end, you know, job, you're one of the, you're in management, you're one of the upper people, you might. But no, no one else does, no. But I am upper management where I'm working now, so I mean, I get a little bit of vacation, but it's just being good with money to me. And unfortunately, like, it's very like hard to be good with money. It's, uh, there's not a lot of, my lip is driving me crazy. There's not a lot of uh, recourse for you if you're, you know, broke. Like, you just gotta work your dick off. If you don't have, if you're born into money, good luck, you know? So that's kind of been my excuse. No. No. Berserker, by the way, Berserker's from Wales, okay? And he watches my stream all the time, and I've sent him paintings. So Berserker asked me questions that, about the US, and he's often surprised, so. He says, what? In the UK, it's law to have like 30 pay days holiday a year to take off whenever you want get full pay for a day days your days you're on holiday yeah 
that's awesome. I would I would love that. Um, unfortunately, that's just not how it is here. So that doesn't happen. So unless you just have money to take off days that you can afford to, you don't get to do that. Here's another thing about money, right? Tattoos. Taking trips all the time, going to all, you know, music festivals, doing all this stuff with money, right? Things that I haven't done mostly because of money. I don't have any money, right? I've always been trying to save my money. Here's the thing, when I have an Android phone, right? Everyone gives me shit. I don't fucking care, honestly. What's shocking to me is how not how similar they are. Like how like iPhones really aren't that much different than Android. Androids. Like I know everybody is gonna be mad at me, but it's really true. I've had an I've had an iPhone. It was cool. I liked it. I have no problem. That anyone has an iPhone, like at all. I have no problem. That everyone has an Android phone, but it's just like, dude, bro, the U.S. does suck, Berserker. I'm so with you. Like I'm over it. But can I get back to the iPhone thing? Okay, here's the thing. I don't care what kind of phone, who cares? I don't care what kind of phone you have. Who, who cares what kind of phone you, I mean, it's just a phone. They all are smartphones. You can all, and every day they're being, every day there's a new model. Yours is obsolete in a month and whatever. Who cares, right? So when I know, so when, now, if I had all the money, if I had tons of money, yeah, I'd buy the newest iPhone every time, sure. I'd buy whatever phone I wanted. I would get the newest, dopest phone, right? But the problem with iPhones is that they're so overpriced for like what they are. Like I think in like the early 2010s, you know, around that, that was kind of like their golden age. And they probably, they were a lot more solid back then and it was all good. But if you have like all Apple stuff, I get it. Like it's all compatible, it all makes sense. But if you're just getting through life and you just need a phone and you're like, I have to get the iPhone or else I'm gonna be ridiculed. Like that means you're bad with money. Like there's a point where getting an Android phone versus an iPhone is just purely being smart with money. And that's why I have an Android. It's because like, I looked into it. I had an iPhone for a while. I'm like, that was not worth the, you know, 25% more, 50% more. It'd be like, this phone's $100. This phone's, you know, 150. Or this, sorry, this one's $300. This one's whatever, like 750, $800. And I'm like, I'll take the six hundred dollar one. You know, like it's like I'll take the five hundred dollar one or whatever. Like, it's just being smart with money. It's the same with traveling and all that. Like, not that I would traveling. I feel like it's the most useful of all of them because it's like you can't. It's such an experience, you know. I would love to travel more. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> I'm the strangest thing here. They think it ain't close, but <laughs> he says, uh, uh, most crazy thing about the U.S. is you don't have free health and health care. That shit is crazy. It is crazy. And he says, want a baby? Nah, bro. Be 50k and dead instead. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. That is funny. Yeah, I mean, for real though, like. Yeah, I know people that have kids that are like, you know, I remember I was a little kid, I'd see people and I'm like, how is that your parents? Like, how are your parents this fucking off the rockers? Let's take some blue, mix it with some white, get a really light. I'm not counting any of my shots today. Anyway. I'm just getting some light blue. That might be too light, honestly, but... Let's just go ahead and get on there. I still got a little bit of green or something in here. Um, let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's good. So, um, all right, let's be real rough with this. Let's just kind of. Most of the most of this area is going to be covered with this color, right? So let's kind of pick and choose what we show peeking through. But most of it's going to be blue. Okay, this is our main color. All this stuff is just <laughs> underlying bullshit. Okay. I know people that I'm like, uh, remember when I was young, I was like, man, how is, how did they even like, that's your, that's your parents? They're like, getting fucked up all the time and they're always like fighting and separating and, but you have money. It's not like that's the problem. It's just like, got, just, your parents are insane. They obviously hate each other, right? I was always like, why are they married? Like, I don't get this. Don't they just get divorced or 
Are they heavy at all? And then now, now I know people my age were younger. And I've watched these horrible relationships go crazy with these completely immature people who have just need tons, just need loads of therapy, probably. And they, uh, and they get pregnant, they have a kid, and it's like, and I'm sitting there watching it like, oh, I guess this is how those people have parents like this. Because these are those parents when they're like watching it happen in front of you in your 20s. You're like, oh, this is how. And you look at your, you start thinking, I started thinking about my friend's parents when I was young. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is probably similar to like how this person's parents met when they were in their 20s. And how they got together and why they're really, it's like. It's very strange, you know, like, but, um, I don't know, that was always, like, an interesting thing to me, like, um, Berserker says, sorry for all the questions, stuff just baffles me, don't mean to take you off course from your painting, dude, you're not, no, you're not at all, you're actually giving me something to think about, I'm, I'm so brain dead right now, like, <sighs> Here's the other thing too, I, I work 45 to 50 hours a week, right? Between 40 and 50 every week, right? Sometimes more than 50, but always at least 40 hours. Yeah, I mean, probably between 40 and 50. Most of the time, that's about what I work. But I'm also the general manager of this restaurant, and which means I take on, I don't know. Anyway, point is, I work all the time. And honestly... I don't hardly ever take vacations and hardly ever take days off and I just have a very uh, busy schedule you know to make ends meet and, and to still be able to do what I want to do which is this and you know what I took this week though uh, I play it so I make the schedule two weeks in advance every week and I was trying to plan out a time for me to take vacation and this week, there's all these days and no one asked off, and there's always we have an abundance, too many people. Everyone wants more shifts, and so I'm like, you know what? This would be a good week for me to take off. So I'm like, kind of on vacation right now, and honestly, my mind's just a blur. Like I don't, I don't know, I don't care about anything right now. My mind's totally empty. So I appreciate your questions. What's some more questions you have, dude? Tell me some more questions. Okay, no, we got some blue on top. We've got blue, we've got reds and greens. Okay, this is kind of coming together a little bit. I feel feel like I want to do something in there, some red and purple. Maybe I just want to mess with it a little bit. But you know, let's put the white moon in, or sun. I guess it's the sun. <gasps> I guess it's the sun. I haven't counted hardly any, I've missed like at least two shots. Can count them. All right. <clears throat> uh, hey, cheers, everybody. Okay. <sighs> right. Yeah. Thanks, Berserker. You're dope. Berserker, has anyone ever told you that you're dope? Allow me. If no one else has. Okay, um, you know, I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, I'm a. I didn't count that shot, did I? There you go. Um, you know, um. Today is national. Well, there are very many things today. A lot, sometimes there's like. Seriously, like 12 different things. Today is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. And it's also Cotton Candy Day. And it's National Illinois Day. Okay? So, today is National Cotton Candy Day, along with National Pearl Harbor Day. You know, is this like, Matt? This is national. This isn't worldwide. This is just America. My lip is driving me crazy. But it's National Cotton Candy Day today. Um, so here's a little girl enjoying cotton candy right there. She really likes cotton candy. She's eating most of it off the stick. Let's have. Oh, here's a picture of Chris Pine. He is baffled by whatever the fuck he's holding right there. I just think that's a funny picture. Um. Okay. So 
maybe this is probably going to dry pretty fast. I, you know what I sweat? And it gets in my mustache. And then under right here, in between like my bottom lip and my chin, this little divot right here, I get sweat in there. It drives me crazy. Hey, you guys remember, um, you know, when ants, the ant queen Amidala, the ant queen? I've been watching these things on ants lately. What was I doing? Um, I was going to do something. Oh, trivia question again, if you want to win a free painting. Today's trivia question is, what is the name of Stephen A. Smith's new sports debate show? Okay, is it A, point of contention, B, pardon my hot takes, C, sorry for the conflict, D, first take two with a vengeance, E, excuse me for my dissension, F, easy take oven, G, get your hot takes off me, or H, all of the above. All right, give it a guess. If you guess correctly, I'll send you a free painting. Because I got too many paintings. Anyway, life's been kind of busy lately, though, so I'm really happy today. Because today's like the first day of um, the rest of my life. No, it's the first day of uh, my vacation. Today's the first day of the rest of your life. Love that for people. It's just like, uh, you go crazy with that. It's like, uh, today's the first day of the rest of my life. I can be a totally different person. I can just like, go crazy and like, starting today, I throw javelin. You just do whatever. But really, today's the first day of the rest of your life is just, you know, a fact. Like, yeah, every day is first day. First day of the rest of your life. I mean, that's how it is every day. You can say it every day. What does it mean? Today's Wednesday, you know? Today's the first day of the rest of your life. Actually, uh, yeah, it is, and it's it's also just Wednesday. So, you know. Yeah, it's also Taco Tuesday, so first day of the rest of your life is Taco Tuesday. Hey, the first day of the rest of my life is, you know, a friggin' Monday. Then what? So then does it lose its power if it's a Monday? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> you tell me, okay? <laughs> I mean... Pardon, pardon my condescension. Hey, excuse me for the conflict. <clears throat> New show. No, you're wrong. I'm right. Excuse me. Uh, all pardons for the debate that we're having. Excuse me, but I'm right and you're wrong. Oh, man, you're cool. Thanks, dude. Man, there's another guy named Purdy that he's always watching. and he was like my number one fan. And he's gone. I hope he's okay. I should probably reach out to him. He used to always watch and talk to me. Well, cheers to Purdy, okay? Wherever he's at, cheers to you. <sighs> but you know what? I got kind of a week off. I'm mean, like two days. I'm going to go in for a little bit and do some shit, but pretty much got like over a week off. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint more. I'll make some new paintings. I'm going to try some new videos out, post them up, you know? So I guess this is dry. I can keep painting, I guess. All right. I'm going to go back to my medium flat brush. And I'm gonna get my white paint. Okay, because you know what? I'm gonna repaint in my river. But before I do that, let's paint in our sun. Now, what you wanna do here is take your chalk and go ahead and draw a circle right here. You could also just trace something, a quarter, a half dollar, whatever the fuck you have in Wales, <laughs> you know? Whatever your coins are like over there. Um, but a big, big coin or, you know, something, a big coin. Ooh, why isn't there a, ooh, man. There's just so much you call themselves big, big coin. Not Bitcoin, big coin. But then people would be like, are you saying big or bit? And it wouldn't work. Anyway, um, I'm not gonna draw it in, okay? But what you wanna do is take your chalk and just draw in a little sun right here, okay? Draw a little circle. I'm just gonna fucking go for it because I don't care about anything anymore. No, because I'm just having fun here, you know, because I don't care about anything in a good way. It's like, did we see that movie, um, Everything Everywhere All at Once? The movie was fucking dope. But they kept going, nothing matters, right? 
So it's like, it can be taken as like a negative thing, but it's like, no, it's actually kind of a positive thing. Like nothing matters. Do whatever you want to do. Have fun. Live your best life, you know? All right, there we go. We got our, our sun painted in. Look at that. Um, it's not a perfect circle. If I do so, so myself. Here's the problem you get in with, with circle. This is why I should have drawn it in. Because if you just start freehanding, you're going to see little parts. And you're like, oh, that's a little off. That's a little off. And then next thing you know, your sun is huge. Because you keep fixing it and getting bigger and bigger. Um, just normal British pound here. I got a British pound for you in my pants. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have a British pound in my pants. Um, in my pants, I have like my inhaler and I have usually my cell phone and my keys and my wallet, but there's no British pound in my pants. Normally it's normally just like, yeah, an inhaler, you know? Okay, you know, uh, let's go ahead and just kind of redraw a little bit of the, the old river here. My red, I kind of fudged up on my red. Let's make that a little rounder. I just kind of want to trim that up a little bit, make a little bit more, you know, something there. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take our chalk and let's blow dry, and then we'll take our chalk and we'll draw where our trees are at, and then we'll finish this sucker up. Hey, has anyone ever, uh, oh man, I was back, when I was back in Joplin, I was at this stoplight, and I come to a stop, and I'm just going straight, right? It's this big four-way intersection, it's like a three lane, big three lanes everywhere, whatever, big, big intersection. So I'm stopped, the people in front of us are just, they have the, the left turn signal, everyone's just turning left, right? They're turning left in front of me, this lane over here, they're turning left, I'm stuck in line, I'm going straight. And then when I look directly to my left, there's people who are coming this way, perpendicular. They're coming across, right? They're going, you know, side to side, where I'm going straight, right? And they're at the right turn lane. And this guy's sit here at the right turn lane, and he's not going, right? Now, the other cars are turning left. So they're turning into this, into this lane that he's turning right into, but... No one's coming. Like, he's got all the time in the world, and he's just not going. And I'm kind of sitting there, and I hear a honk all of a sudden, right? So there's like three, four cars behind this guy who's just not turning right. There's, he's in the right turn lane. It's right on red. If there's no one coming, you can just turn right. Well, no one's coming, and he's still not going. He's just sitting there. So somebody honks, right? And I look over, and I'm like, huh, honking at him. And then I see the guy who's up there at the front who's not turning right. He stops and he opens his door and gets out of his car and he gets out and like starts like this guy stops his car gets out and starts like yelling at the guy behind him who's just like just go like I don't want to have it I don't care there's no we're not gonna we're not gonna have a talk here and teach you a lesson just go right um, it was pretty funny and, he, and the guy that when he got out he was like this little he was just like, he looked like he was 20, right? And he was just like this young little dark haired kid. He was probably like 5'8", like just an average size to small guy. He, he was a bean pole. And he was like, Ugh! he's driving this, you know, whatever shitty little car. And it's like, it was hilarious. It was kind of hilarious to me. I was like, please let some giant dude get out of this, you know, truck behind him and just beat the shit out of him. But that didn't happen. And then the light turned green, I had to drive off. But the most interesting thing that happened to me this week I thought it was great I was like sweet it entertained me for you know 10 seconds at a stoplight so that was cool <laughs> all right let's draw on our trees here okay let's draw in there's gonna be one two three four five trees dude for real though people it's you know what it is it's ego there's just you know a lot of people just have ego a lot big ego problem you know I used to a big problem with ego. All right, let's draw a line there. That's our big one. That one's going real tall. Let's get close to the top. Now, these other four over here, they're going to kind of go down, right? So our tallest one is going to go just over the mountain range there on the left, just like that, right? 
Now let's give ourselves some space. Let's have one more go. Just look a little above the mountain range. Okay, then one there and one here. So now our it's going down. We got this one big one over here. Whatever. Okay, let's take our now. Small flat brush is going to be the star of the show from here on out. Okay. Hey, small flat brush. Yes. What do you need? I need you to carry this painting. I gotcha. You sure, small flat brush? Oh yeah, I gotcha. Flat brush. I really need it. What's that? Uh huh. No one cares. Okay. Got it. What'd you say? Don't talk to you like you're a person. You're obviously an animate object. Got it. So, anywho, it was, uh, I don't know, I thought it was awesome. I was really excited. All right, here's a nice, easy technique. Let's get some purple paint on our small flat brush, and here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna take this, and what I'm gonna do, basically, is I'm gonna basically kind of go zigzag, right? Let's, like, think this way, right? Kind of think, like, zipper. Think about that. You're kind of going back, 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 right? That's kind of what I'm going to start doing, okay? I'm going to make it a little mess here. Not quite so exactly uniform, but at the beginning up here, it's definitely the small, you know? And I'm just going to start, you know, kind of start doing that, right? It's kind of going to zigzag down a little bit, right? Pretty cool. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. I like what I do. Now, make your, it should get wider at the bottom, but make it very gradual. Start very small, way smaller than you think you should probably. Because what will happen is you'll start getting that like this. The next thing you know, this tree is taking over your entire painting. Make it extremely skinny at the top, extremely gradual in the progression of slow, or the widening of it. I like, and I like, what well, I do. What's your favorite thing to paint? Honestly, people. I like to paint people. But people take a while. So I can't really, it's hard to do in an hour. Landscapes are easy, you block them in, bam, bam. It's like painting just like a still life kind of. You know, I like this song. I want to play it again because I'm feeling it right now. Down here, once we get to this wideness, we just kind of start filling this in, right? I don't know why my painting's still up on that. Just to fuck with me, I guess. I don't just fuck with myself, I guess. There we go. Okay. Same thing here now. These are going to get smaller, so let's get even smaller here, okay? It's going to kind of start dabbing back and forth. Maybe 45 degree angles. One way this way, one way that way, one way this way, one way that way. That's kind of how I'm going through this, okay? Right, and then I can go in and kind of jazz it up, right? You must be kind, you must be pretty. They do have Discord. You know, I have a Discord that link I stopped updating the link because no one ever joined it um hey I'll message you afterwards berserker and we can discord pardon my discord you know what here's the trivia question again I like said I like what I do what is the name of Stephen A. Smith's new sports debate show right discord was in there I was gonna put that in one of these made up names not that they're all made up some just a couple and I like it does what I like, and I like what I do. It does what I like, and I like what I like, and I like. I'll take a different approach. This I'm not gonna go crazy on the. I like. Now I'll go through the middle. Let's try that.
Last one. Oh no, it's not the last one. I guess we got the big one over here. Last one on the left side, I guess. Gotta let loose. Um, do you have Discord group? Yes. Yeah, shoot me your Discord details and I'll add you tomorrow. Yeah, right, creeper. Just kidding. Yeah, right, weirdo. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> you wish. No, just kidding. I have no friends. Um, I do have friends. You know, I have friends. People that are friends with me. I have them. All right, let's start here. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 maybe a little wider. Boom, 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 boom. It's good if you yell louder as you go. Okay, that's just, that's just facts. Okay. To you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm the one that breaks your heart. So maybe I'll just like, really drag them out of the bottoms. Drag these out the bottom. Don't need to go up past here. Let's just go down further. Ba boom. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Right? And if you say ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, it makes your painting better. Just a little, you know, little trick of the trade. <laughs> trade of the trick and tricking and trading and, you know, trades and tricks and, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Now let's go back and just fill some shit in, right? Just fill some random fucking shit in. And let's cuss a lot. Because it's fun to cuss. Fuck shit. Piece of shit, bitch. Fuck. It's fun, right? Oh, man. It's fun to say naughty things, you know? Okay, I made that little, that one a little rogue with that little piece, but whatever. Maybe I need to make some come out. Yeah. I want to make some little edges coming out there. Oh, living is cold. Living in round a frag, oh, frag a frag, oh, fuck you, new. Hey, look at us. We did it. We did the fucking first layer of the trees, okay? And you know what? Let's cuss some more. Let's say, hey, fucking bullshit cunt dick you know it's funny god I have this girl I work with and she just she cusses like crazy to the point where it's like it's like she's literally just saying every cuss word she can think of because she's so mad and it's not even like cohesive it doesn't even it like takes away from her point but hey you know what who cares about work right I'm on vacation I'm on island time <laughs> that's why I was late today because I was on island time I like to do this a lot when I say things. I like to go put this like I'm whispering, but I'm not whispering. Cheers. Hey, here's a picture of a girl eating cotton candy, a little kid. She's eating cotton candy and she loves it. Cheers. Ugh. <laughs> okay, let's blow dry this a little bit. Just a tad. Just a tad bit. Now let's add a shot to the old shot counter. So last night I got really drunk. I do normally work Tuesday nights. And it was the beginning of like my vacation, I felt like. So I thought of it kind of like a Sunday. Because normally Sunday is the end of my work week. So I worked through this weekend. Uh, so last night I got home from work and I'm like, damn, done with work for a few days. And I got straight hammered. Okay. Then today. I was like, oh man, I gotta get all this stuff out. I gotta reset up my room because I took everything up to, for this live class I painted. I reset it all up. And honestly, it took me a while. But I was also kind of like dreading. I'm like, 
I still feel hungover from last night. I don't want to start drinking again, right? Well, let me tell you, nine shots in and I'm feeling fucking great. (laughs) I'm like, what was I worried about? I'm loving being hammered right now, you know? Classic alcoholism. (laughs) Classic alcoholism. You know, my therapist, if I had one, would say something about that, probably. You know, I don't have a therapist, I don't have fucking health care. I was like, you should go to therapy. You should go to therapy. And I'm like, yeah, I'd love to. If I just had a bunch of thousands of dollars extra laying around, that'd be great. I would go to health. I would go to the fucking. I go to the fucking therapist immediately. I'd be like, yeah, I have a lot of issues that I have to work through. I've just been doing it on my own my whole life. Any help would be muchly appreciated. Muchly, new term, coining it right now, Muchler. No, uh, but it's like, yeah, of course, I would love to go do that. But like, yeah, unfortunately, it's hundreds of dollars for every session. Like, how is anyone, whatever. Fuck America, right? I'm fucking over it. We'll just leave then. We'll want to just leave then if you hate America so much. Oh, because it's expensive! Just leave then. And also, like, you know, you want me to leave? You want me to get out of here? Is that really what you want? Okay, I'll get out of here. You guys are living in Trump's America. Idiocracy coming for you, bro. Like, people that care and are fed up with the country aren't horrible people. I mixed up yellowish green, yellowish green. I mixed more yellow than blue. Got a nice yellowy green, and then add a little bit of white, okay? That's my art instruction for mixing up green. Blue and yellow, lots and lots of yellow, little tiny bit of white. Here's the color I got. Okay, let's just put some little white streaks.